IP address. So here is the question what is an IP address? So considering a network is there, the data is transferred among the computers. The interconnection is referred to as networking. So each computer in the network will have IP address. So you are able to see it here a request from the source IP address. The IP address will be having four numbers. It is sent to the destination. So you got four numbers here. So the source IP address is this one 192.160.0.50 and the destination IP address is 192.168.0 and 150. It's 168. Sorry. And what is the port used to open it? And what is the port this guy is going to access? Ports is like a hand. So I got something I'm giving to other person through my hand. And he is capturing through his hand. They call it as port. And this guy is responding. So the source IP address is this one. And the destination IP address is this one. So it is responded from the port to his port is giving. So, internet protocol is a numerical function that connects each device to a computer network which uses the internet protocol for communication. So, they perform two things. One is like identifying the host and the network interface identification. So, the latest and the usable version is IPv4. It got 32 bit 8, 8, 8, 8. 32 bit number. And it provides the location of the host in the network. So over here, I got some data needs to be transferred. Automatically, it is identified and it's transferred through the destination. To whom I need to transfer, so automatically it will be transferred. This is how the network is formed. For that, we need that IP address, which is identified in a network. So IP address is of five different types. It got, as I told, it got 32 bits. The first 8 bits, it's common. And this is host ID. They call it as class A. And here, the top 16 is common. And the other 16, we can change it. This is called network ID. They call it as class B. And class C is 21 bits common. Network ID. And it got a very small network. Over here, I can create lots sorts of network and over a medium size. And this is a very small network. And class D is used for multicasting. The entire thing is used for multicasting. And the start bit should be 1110. And class E is a reserved, it is not used. It is used by research agencies like ISRO and NASA. Okay, so this is how your IP address is classified into multiple things. Over here, you are able to see it here. So, class A, as I told, it got this value, the first string is common, and this is your network ID, and this one is your host ID. This one is your network ID, and this one is host ID. And this one is your network ID, and this one is host ID. And the entire thing is used for your multicasting, and this is for uh, research purpose, they are using it. If we talk about the values, uh, on looking it up to 0 to 127, the first value should be 0 to 127. It indicates uh, the network is in class A. Considering I got an IP address like this. I got an IP address uh, 125.76.3.67. Over here, the first number 125 is here. 0 to 127, 125 is there. This one is class A. 125 is your network ID and 76.3.67 is your host ID. This is your class A IP addressing. And if the IP address value is 145 considering over here 145 the first number is between 128 and 191 128 
128 and 191 145 is between these two number obviously this is class b network okay so this one is called as the network id and this one they called it as the host id this is your host id now i got an ip address of 195.36.67.34 this is your class c the reason is like 195 is coming between these two numbers okay so first three numbers is called as network id and 34 the last number They called it as host ID. First three numbers, they called it as network ID. First three numbers, they called it as network ID. And the last number, they called it as host ID. Considering an IP address 226. 226. Obviously, this first number is coming between these two one. This is class D. And the entire thing, the entire IP address is called as network ID. This is for broadcasting and multicasting. Multicasting in the sense used in TV channels for their broadcasting and for radio channels. Considering my IP address is different now, considering my IP address is a 254 this is your class e because 254 is coming between these two okay so this is used this ip address is used by research agencies like nasa okay this is your IP addressing types. So considering I got my network, uh, this is in Wi Fi. So I am trying to connect it to uh, networks. Uh, if you go to the properties, you are able to see my IP address here. So it is uh, 192.168.2.46. What I can do it is like I am trying to give. Uh, uh, I'll go to my command prompt and uh, if you type the command ipconfig you are able to see my IP address. My IP address is uh, 192.168.2.46. And this is called a subnet mask. Indicates uh, your IP address this is class C. So we should understand about the subnet mask. Uh, for this one, only one, only one number, only one number is your uh, um, network ID indicates the subnet mask is 255.0.0.0 for class A. This is your subnet mask. And if you see here for class B, it should be 255.255. .255 dot zero dot zero that's class uh, b class b subnet mask and over here i got my uh, the network id is three right so over here it's 255 dot this is class c so in my computer, I got three more things. So it indicates it's a class C. 192, 192 is coming here. So class C. The subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. This is how you are able to identify a network. So my IP address is 192 dot. And the subnet mask is 2255. Okay, so this is your subnet mask for class A and it got almost a 16 million 
host and the number of network is 127 only and this is the start and end IP address and here the subnet mask is this one it goes the host of 65,000 and the number of network is 16,000 and here is the range of IP address and class C is a 254 host and 2 million networks and 192.163 so 192 from 223 and this is for multicast groups and this is for research purposes they are waiting so this is how your IP address are ok so analysis of class A as I told you are able to see these are seven available bits you can change it zero and once we can make a combination we are able to make 2 power 7 is 128 networks and here I can make a combination of zeros and ones so 2 power 24 combination we got 16 million hosts available so the same thing I am trying to analyze with the class C we are able to see we will be having 121 bits and we can do zeros and one combination 2 power 21 is almost 2 million and only 8 bits we got 256 host ok so over here I am taking uh, an IP address I am trying to do some manipulation we got 172.16.20 dots the rest of the things they call it as host and this one they call it as network if it is 0 slash 25 indicates this one is 0 and you can do combination over here what is the first host put one here that is the first host what is the last host here put all ones and at the end is 0 that is last host put all ones that is called broadcast address so this is an IP address try to understand what I am trying to do is like um, I want the first host what should be the first host put one here one here this is your first host put all one here this is your broadcast address put only one here ok so put 0 here and put all ones here this is the last host address because if I put one here it will become broadcast so this is how your IP address are um, you know about our channel like this is our website wikidiki.com this is an online technical portal you are able to learn everything and if you click projects here there are thousands of projects available in this website just go here the entire projects we are giving to free you can do it and you can implement it apart from this like our uh, youtube channel is wikidiki core if you go to our youtube core wikidiki core channel you are able to see lots and lots of videos and explanation for everything so subscribe to our youtube channel by clicking this button and click this bell symbol you will get a lot of notifications if there is any new videos loaded thanks for watching this is Venkat from wikidiki thank you Thank <laughs> you.